Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to prepare for school. Number one is to find something that motivates or comforts you. This is super important to be doing at the beginning of the year because when exam season comes, you're probably going to be really stressed and not have enough time to do this. My personal source of motivation comes from music and just listening to my playlists. In fact, at the beginning of the year, I try and make some playlists depending on like different moods. So for example, playlists for when I'm sad, playlists for when I'm really hyped up, etc. But you can have any source of motivation you like. Some other examples include reading and you can read how many other books you want and if it makes you feel less stressed um, then it probably works for you. There's other ones for example like watching Netflix or watching some TV shows and although I didn't recommend this one I think it's still a great way to calm yourself down. Number two is to fix your sleep schedule and try to be more productive in the morning. This is a very common habit that I think most students set, however it's very hard to execute sometimes. I know that during the summer holidays I would be sleeping really late and then waking up really late and overall it just kind of messed up my sleep schedule. So now in like the last few weeks of the summer holidays I'm trying to fix it as much as I can to be ready for school. I also want to try and do more things in the morning and be more productive, for example study, exercise, etc. in the morning. Number 3 is deleting or limiting apps with the highest screen time. I remember a few months ago I installed TikTok and it got really addictive so I deleted it and overall my screen time since then has been fairly minimal except I do have limits for Instagram and YouTube which are my most used apps every single day so i do recommend either deleting it or limiting it if you can't delete it this will allow you to have free time or chill time without using technology for example you can do some word searches try logical puzzles out instead of being on your phone and just scrolling endlessly all day number four is to plan your day every single day and make a to-do list even if it's the weekend and you have absolutely nothing to do, just make up a list of things that you want to do or you have to do in that day. This will allow you to, rather than scrolling endlessly on your phone, actually do something that you've written down on your to-do list. This will help you minimise your screen time as well as actually be productive and do something that doesn't require technology. When you finish your task, you can tick it off and it will make you feel instantly accomplished and just proud of yourself. When school starts, try and stay on top of your schoolwork. I recommend doing this as soon as school starts because if you miss one homework or one piece of work that you just had to finish, then everything just starts piling up and it's really hard to manage. If you just get a planner, which is what I recommend, or you can just get like a piece of paper and write down all the things that you have coming up, which can be events, appointments, homework deadlines, etc. And this will allow you to keep track of what's happening, what's going on and what you have to do. If a deadline is nearing for a piece of work you haven't done, highlight it in a bright colour so you know you still have to finish it. And you can also underline, circle how many days you have left, etc. And this will allow you to stay really organised for the new school year. Number 6 is to build an actually good skincare routine that suits your skin. I might film a video on this soon so I'm not going to talk to you about it too much but basically the main idea is that you should build a skincare routine that suits your skin and is gentle to your skin. Number 7 is to clean your studying environment. When you're studying it will be really hard to concentrate if there's a whole mess around you and therefore you'll be really distracted by it which is why I recommend cleaning out your desk after you study at night. Another benefit that comes with cleaning your desk is that after you finish cleaning, it makes you feel like you've done a lot of work and it just makes you feel really accomplished. And this can help you be really productive next time you study and just motivate you to do better.
something you can do at the weekend or if you're still in the summer holidays which will make you feel really accomplished is cleaning out the surrounding areas of your desk for example your cabinets which contain loads of books or your closet for example which has loads of messy clothes or maybe even your drawers if you've watched some back to school videos you will know it's really really important to set goals because if you write all the things that you want to accomplish in the next academic year on a piece of paper it'll be easier to actually accomplish them and therefore better yourself however if you just keep it in your brain obviously you'll just forget it eventually and then just never have enough time to be able to accomplish it these goals should be small achievable goals that shouldn't be too vague but shouldn't be too specific either for example waking up early and you can set a time if you want to using a planner and staying on top of schoolwork and also minimizing your screen time and also for the screen time one you can say let's just do two hours of screen time every day and you can also try and calculate them every single week so by the end of the year you would have accomplished them fully number nine is to join courses extracurriculars and basically anything that will teach you a skill you can never say no to a skill because it will just expand what you as a human can do. You can, for example, learn a language on Duolingo. You can learn a musical instrument, whether that's in person or online. And you can do anything, basically, if it's available online. This may not be suitable for people that are still in lockdown, but try and find an extracurricular, so for example, like a sports club or a dance club near you so you can not only learn a new school, but also maybe make some new friends that are in your location. Number 10 is to have at least one habit which helps the local community or environment. For the local community, you can volunteer in a charity shop and do like charity runs and races that occur. As for the environment, climate change is a big issue so you can try and minimise your carbon footprint by being vegan for example. 